हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड ट्रांसमीटर इन मॉडर्न कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द आउटपुट ऑफ ट्रांसड्यूजर इज नॉन एज बेस बैंड सिग्नल दिस बेस बैंड सिग्नल इज इनपुट टू द ट्रांसमीटर द ट्रांसमीटर विल प्रोसेस द बेस बैंड सिग्नल बिफोर ट्रांसमिटिंग इन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द आउटपुट ऑफ ट्रांसड्यूजर इज नॉन एज बेस बैंड सिग्नल this base band signal is input to the transmitter the transmitter will process the base band signal before transmitting so the transmitter will process this base band signal before transmission the processing carried out for signal transmission in analog form is different from signal transmission in digital form so here the processing carried out for signal transmission in analog form will be different from the processing that is carried out for the signal transmission in digital form so the processing for both analog signal as well as digital signal will be different there are two options for processing the signal prior to transmission first one the base band signal which lies in low frequency spectrum is translated to high frequency spectrum second option for signal processing is the base band signal is transmitted without translating to high frequency spectrum so there are two options for processing the signal prior to transmission first option is the base band signal which lies in low frequency spectrum is translated into high frequency spectrum second option is the base band signal is transmitted without translating into high frequency spectrum when the base band signal is translated from low frequency spectrum into high frequency spectrum the communication is known as carrier communication this type of communication is known as carrier communication in carrier communication the base band signal is carried by high frequency signal this high frequency signal is known as carrier signal in carrier communication the base band signal is carried by high frequency signal this high frequency signal is known as carrier signal in second option of processing the base band signal is transmitted without translating to high frequency spectrum such type of communication is known as base band communication so this type of communication is known as base band communication in base band communication even though the base band signal is transmitted without translating to high frequency spectrum some processing of signal is required before transmission for example train of pulses can be replaced by series of sine wave of different frequencies before transmission so in base band communication some processing of signal is required before transmission for example a train of pulses can be replaced by sine wave of different frequencies as you can see here the pulse represented by low is replaced with low frequency signal and the pulse that is represented by high is replaced with high frequency signal therefore we can say the base band signal is converted into corresponding series of sine wave of two different frequencies before transmission as shown in this figure in carrier communication we know that the base band signal with low frequency is converted into high frequency spectrum this process is known as modulation the process of translating base band signal from low frequency spectrum into high frequency spectrum is known as modulation if the base band signal is digital signal the carrier communication is known as digital communication for digital communication digital modulation methods are used if base band signal is analog signal 
the carrier communication is known as analog communication system analog communication uses analog modulation method if a baseband signal is digital signal the carrier communication is known as digital communication for digital communication the digital modulation methods are used if the baseband signal is analog signal the carrier communication is known as analog communication system for analog communication analog modulation methods are used this figure shows the block diagram of a typical transmitter here as you can see the baseband signal is applied to modulated stage this stage translates the baseband signal from low frequency spectrum to high frequency spectrum this stage will also receive the input signal from carrier signal which is represented as c of t here carrier oscillator will generate the high frequency signal so in modulated stage the modulation will takes place with two input signal first one is baseband signal and another one is carrier signal after modulation the baseband signal is translated into high frequency spectrum the output of modulation stage is known as modulated signal that is represented by x of t this modulated signal is given as input to the amplifier stage which consists of two amplifiers first one is voltage amplifier stage and second one is power amplifier stage here voltage amplifier stage will amplify the voltage of modulated signal and power amplifier stage amplifies the power of the modulated signal since voltage and power is modulated hence it will have enough power to reach the receiver stage of the communication system once the signal is amplified this signal is transmitted to channel for further communication here the radio signals are transmitted through electromagnetic waves which is also referred as radio waves in case of radio communication so when we consider radio communication radio signals are transmitted through electromagnetic waves which are also known as em waves these electromagnetic waves is also referred as radio waves these radio waves have wide range of communication which is starting from few 10 kilohertz to several megahertz these wide range of frequencies are known as radio frequency spectrum the radio waves have wide range of communication which range from few 10 kilohertz to several megahertz these wide range of frequencies are known as radio frequency spectrum or rf spectrum the different range of radio frequency spectrums are used for different applications in communication system for example radio frequencies ranging from 10 to 30 kilohertz are used for point to point communication the radio frequencies ranging from 30 to 300 kilohertz are used for point to point communication as well as navigation the radio frequencies ranging from 300 to 3000 kilohertz are used for radio broadcasting radio frequencies from 3 to 30 megahertz are used for overseas radio broadcasting radio frequencies from 30 to 300 megahertz are used for fm broadcasting and radar radio frequencies between 300 to 3000 megahertz are used for television and navigation and radio frequencies between 3000 to 30000 megahertz are used for radar navigation and radio relays this is about transmitter in communication system hope you have understood the topic thank you